Hey guys, I just want to let you know I released a new app on the App Store and it lets you use your iPhone as a controller for Rock Band kind of games on your Mac. Um, it's free on the App Store and I'm just going to show you a quick demo of it in action. Here it is. So in order to set this up, you're going to need two applications, Air Guitar Controller and Air Guitar Server. Um, Air Guitar Controller you can download on the App Store, and this is what you're going to want to have on your iOS device. And Air Guitar Server, that's what actually receives the key presses, so this is what you're going to want to download for your Mac. And you can download that um, on my website, there'll be a link for this in the description. Now you're also going to need a music rhythm game. Um, Frets on Fire is a really good one, that's the one you saw demoed earlier in the video. And I actually have a custom build of it, so you can download that in the description and it'll have all the key configurations set up for you. Once you have all these downloaded, if you open up the controller app, you'll notice you have a few options to configure. So in order to play, you're going to need both a fret and a pick. You can either use an Air Guitar Move accessory as a pick, or you can use a second iPhone as a pick. If you want to buy the accessory, there's a link in the description, but as of the making of this video, the pick only works on firmware running iOS 4 or 5. I've been in talks with the creator to see about getting it updated for the latest firmwares, and I'll let you guys know about any updates to that. Now just make sure your Mac and your iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and start both the apps. On your iPhone, you should see the screen change based on the configuration you chose, and on your Mac, you should see a notification that the device was connected. If pressing buttons in the app makes key presses appear on your Mac, then you should be all set and you can start rocking out. The iOS Air Guitar Controller app is actually 100% open source, so you can download the code and make your own custom iPhone controllers. I would sail across what you see, just to see you